What's up people, back again for another update video for you, uh, from work, uh, started a new site today, which I'm chuffed about, it's great here, uh, big factory all to myself, so sorted, uh, so just going to tell you guys what I've been up to really, because uh, before recently, um, up until a week ago, if that, uh, I wasn't very active on YouTube or online at all really, because uh, got a new place, uh, which I'm still meaning to show you guys around there when I can. Uh, it's a bit awkward really because little man, you know, our little boy, uh, he still sleeps in the morning and afternoon, goes for his naps, you know, so I don't want to be blabbering on, you know, when he's trying to sleep, so um, I'll try and work around when he's awake and things, you know, and playing and stuff, so. Because uh, the new collection I've got, the new collection set up, it's in our bedroom. Uh, I haven't really got any horror stuff downstairs. Uh, I've got like some Kiss figures downstairs and uh, me Alice Cooper, the small McFarlane figure. I got the custom 18 inch one I did upstairs uh, on the landing. Uh, been working on little man's room as well, making it into a typical boy's room, you know. Uh, there's some like cartoon stuff in there, some Disney. Uh, the pictures me bro Andy did us, uh, there on the wall look awesome. You know, the Disney pictures and the Mighty Mouse and Space Ghost looks awesome, bro. So cheers, that'll be showing you on a video soon, I'll set up for that. Uh, what else have I been up to? Uh, well, I've been out of work for about a month until uh, today. Um, but it was nice to be home with the family because um, the job I had before that, I told you about it, you know, and Andy um, you know, and Rick. I was living there, you know, it was like six days a week and that's intense. Especially when you got a little boy, you know, because I didn't want to miss any, any of his growing up, you know. Um, but that eventually finished, that site I was working on there, uh, and there was nothing else in the area, so unfortunately I was unemployed for a month, but um, you know, I kept looking, uh, and I found this, uh, it's actually with one of the old companies I used to work for previously, um, and it's a great site, they tend to get really good sites, so um, you, don't, <laughs> you don't really have to do much here, you know, so that's why I like it, uh, I, just, I bring my films in, watch my films, you know, do a bit of karaoke, things like that. Uh, I could start making figures here as well, which is good because it saves up more time at home for other things. Um, you know, I don't make loads these days anyway. It's really because of cost, guys. You know, I'm sure, you know, other customizers out there that are watching this, um, you know, veteran customizers such as myself, uh, you know, the prices have gone up. And I've said it many times and it's true, you know, it's, um, it's really hard to... Uh, put a lot of figures out at the same time, you know. In a way, it's a good thing, I guess, because uh, I've said this to we on personal videos as well, that, you know, um, I used to make a bunch in a weekend, you know. There was times I did rush them, I'll admit. You know, they, were, they didn't come out really the way I wanted them to. Um, that's why I do go back and revisit things, you know. I revisited that Blake from the Fog. Um, that was actually my first 12-inch custom figure I did back in the day. Um, the original one was done with, uh, <laughs> believe it or not, air drying clay, the head, and um, it was okay for, you know, me starting out, I was started out with the air drying clay, but any custom, well, people are thinking, you know, becoming customizers out there, put your fucking teeth in, um, <laughs> you know, don't start with air drying clay, guys, because it's not good to work with, um, start with Fimo, that I use, um, or epoxy sculpt. I've recently been using Milliput. It's like epoxy sculpt. You got um, one part softener, one part hardener. You know, mix them together properly, and um, you know it doesn't take long to set if you put a lot of hardener in it. You know, um, the only problem I have with that though is you don't get much time to sculpt what you want to do. You know, uh, whereas with Fimo you can take all day if you want to to sculpt and smooth things out, you know, smooth your detail out and things, And uh, but you only put it in the oven. Um, we don't use our oven much in the, where we are because it's electric and it's expensive to use, so uh, we tend to have a lot of hob stuff and things like that, you know, um, so because it takes a long time to heat up, you know, and it's using all that power and, you know, I'm not the only one, I mean, I'm sure the rest, you know, there's a lot of people on here as well that are, like, trying to save money in places, you know, and I'm one of them, I'm not ashamed to admit it, and the girlfriend don't mind, you know. Um, 
you know, it's electric is expensive over here. I don't know about America or anywhere else, but uh, in the UK, you know, it is. It depends who you're with. I'm with End Power, um, but they're all basically the same. You know, making profits off you. Um, but yeah, the oven, you know, doesn't get used loads. Um, but if we had a gas well, gas oven, you know, it would, because uh, gas is cheaper than electric, obviously. Um, but yeah, <laughs> enough of that. Um, so I don't really use female much since I've been at the new place because um, we didn't pick the oven it was there built into the kitchen you see which you'll see when I do finally one day film the house for you um, it's a lovely kitchen um, it's just you know there's a few things in there we didn't need but it came with the house so we have to keep it in there um, so that's why I've been using the Millie put it's good it's really good I, I used it on the uh, Professor Wells uh, Dr. X figure, all the new ones you've seen uh, after Ghost Rider, that's all with Milliput. Like the uh, Part 8 Jason and things, that's all with Milliput. So it's good to use, guys, it's just you got to be aware you know, of your timing. You know, you got to make sure you make what you're doing in time before it sets, because when it starts to set, it's, it's really hard to sculpt with, you know. It's really hard to mould it to what you want, you know. Um, so yeah, that's just an update what I've been materials wise I've been using. Um, did some model kits as well when I was at the other place of work. Um, didn't get on much there. That's another thing that uh, really you know got me down because uh, I love coming on online and seeing you guys and seeing what you're up to and hearing from you. You know, um, a little circle of friends which I'm really grateful for. So cheers, guys, and thanks for checking out the work, especially the new work as well. Um, and I've got more work coming as well. Not loads, but I'm going to take my time. You know, I'm not going to put them out every weekend like I used to a few years ago. That was just insane, you know. <laughs> and I was single back then, so, you know. It was different because I'm more, more free time. Uh, nowadays, I like to spend my time with my family, you know. It's no disrespect to anyone on here, you know. Um, I do get on when I can. Uh, I do get on a lot more now since I have my own place. Uh, the new house, you know. Uh, a bit cramped before where we were previously. Um, so, you know, it's a good setup. Um, there's a few niggles with the house, but you know, n nothing to go on about on this video with, you know. Um, as for future projects, guys, um, I've been thinking hard because I've done, I've done a lot of characters I've wanted in my collection for, for years, you know. Um, but there's some spring to mind I want to do. I said to Angus, you know, friend uh, Angus Lamont, awesome guy. Um, who's a fellow classic horror lover uh, like he he loves classic horror as well awesomeness um, I want to do a Martian Invader from Invaders from Mars for the 50s original 1953 film because I love the look of them I know they look you know to some people love the modern stuff they look crap you know fair enough <laughs> you know if that's what you think it's fair enough um, I like the whole retro thing you know the old crappy costumes and <laughs> monster suits and stuff I like things like that um, as well as the new stuff, you know. Um, so, yeah, I want to do one of them. Uh, just trying to find the fur, really, because obviously um, on stills they're green, you know, so I need green fur, faux fur for that. Um, I want to do a big tarantula from the 1955 movie, Tarantula, with John Agar. Awesome film. If you haven't seen it, check it out. I know. The full movie is on YouTube, so if you don't want to buy it on DVD or whatever, Blu-ray, if it's on Blu-ray yet, I don't know. Um, just check out on the tube, guys. It's an awesome film. So it's obviously a giant tarantula, giant monster movie. Um, so I want to make a big tarantula. I want to do a little, little diorama with it as well, because obviously it's not going to be to scale with the 12-inch scale figures, because that's just going to be insane. It's just going to take up the whole house, you know. So it'll be scaled down a bit but it'll still look big because I'll have like little trucks or something or people on the diorama you know um, so yeah I've, I just thought that today actually I've been going through my pictures on of the uh, hard drive got loads of vintage uh, horror pictures and posters on there and things and, and modern stuff as well uh, that's what I do guys I, ones I'm thinking you know what, I've, what haven't I made yet you know and I'll go through my pictures if I can make it I will I've always said that to Rick, you know, if it's possible to make, I'll try and make it. Especially if it's like a commission or something, which I don't really want to get into them much uh, these days due to family commitments, you know. Um, 
But I will be doing some eddies. I just want to tell you guys, uh, there will be some eddy figures from the Howling coming because I know I've had uh, unending like emails about that, which I'm blown away with. By the way, I really appreciate the nice comments and you know the nice emails that you've got. You guys have sent me about that one and your interest in it. Um, I do have some bases in now to work from uh, to make some more. Uh, I told Fistful of Movies recently though that I need to get some more faux fur, like the brown, the light brown fur, and some darker tones as well to set him off, set some detail off in the fur uh, costume. Um, that's a hobby craft job, so I have to go to Chester um, Retail Park. It's a hobby craft, that's where I get the faux fur from. You can get it online, but it's a lot more expensive. And um, the thing is, with my commissions, I don't know what the other guys do or what whatever. It's up to, you know, it's up to them what they do. But uh, I've always worked it as, you know, if I do get a commission that I can do, I've got the time to do. Um, I won't take the money up front. I, I just think it's wrong. You know, that's just me. I just think it's wrong to take the money up front. Um, I prefer to pay out of my own money for the materials and all that, and then charge you know, what I think it's worth. Um, but still, I know we're in hard times, people, and I, I don't charge as much as some of some customizers do. I know some of them charge the earth. Um, that's fair enough. That's, you know, people buy them, so it's it's all good. So, um, But me, I don't charge, like, the earth for my work. Um, I'm not saying my work's better than anyone else's. It's not. We've all got our own styles. I've, you know, these talks I've had with Ian and Andy and things, you know, we've all got our own styles and things. And I just see on some other videos, some people's videos, they get really bad comments from some dickheads, you know, saying, oh, it's crap and all this, or mine's better than yours or whatever. And it's like, yeah, go, go suck a cock or something, you know. Uh, I just think there's no need for it. And the whole drama thing that goes down on YouTube, it's just like, I mean, I've, I've been involved in some drama, some of you guys know. Um, you know, and I've heard of other dramas and I'm thinking, you know, I left that shit at high school, you know, um, and these are grown, grown men, you know, so just grow up guys and, you know, just don't get involved with drama and don't start drama. It's just, that's not what we're here for, you know? Um, so, but there won't be any drama on this channel. I've, I've had some shitty comments, you know, uh, I can take criticism and as long as you're not being a dick about it, um, you know? I do take the decent criticisms on board, you know, but when you're just being a dick about it, then yeah, it just goes in the uh, delete uh, folder. Uh, so yeah, uh, there won't be any assholes on my channel, guys. I've told you that before. So anyone who is watching this, who's had crap from people, you know, if you make your own work and you know you feel a bit down because you've been getting some bad comments or something, you know, just come over to my channel and you know meet my friends. They're really nice people, so. Um, you know, get to know them and, you know, follow their work as well because they do excellent work as well. And not just the ones that make work. I mean, you know, do their own work. I mean, people like Andy, you know, he's a nice guy and Rick and all that lot. You know, Rick makes some of his own work as well, but he's really into buying the customs as well. So I've got another order for him. So, um, so yeah, you know, I've uh, been doing a bit of this and that. You know, keeping busy, really. Uh, rather hands full with... Uh, little man as well you know he's growing up nicely and um, making sure he's in his routine his bedtime routine and all that stuff and his meals and you know you got to try and keep them at the same time every day for their meals and stuff um, we get out when we can you know so it's all good people I'm in a happy place you know uh, I'm just sorry I haven't been on much really but um, I am catching up with you guys I caught a video really the other day and Andy I've been keeping in touch with when I can you know Rick recently got in touch with Rick again um, after a long spell of absence from me, <laughs> for no fault of my own, because uh, we did move in, but um, although I was living at the last job, I couldn't really afford much, guys, because the, um, you know, the cost of the house was a lot, and, um, you know, so I couldn't afford the internet straight away, so that's why I wasn't around much, if anyone's bothered, and interested or bothered, whatever, you know, but that's the reason, anyway, I wasn't being funny with anyone, uh, and the whole commission thing, like Fistful of Movies, you know, uh, I'll be making him an Eddie soon when I get the fur. Um, Rick as well, Rick wants one. I know there's other people that want them as well. Um, but obviously I'm only human. I don't, um, I don't cast things. You know, I do it from hand. Uh, so my work does take longer to do than 
you know, say some other customizers who do um, duplicate their work, you know. Um, so just bear that in mind, guys, if you ever do want a figure from me or whatever. Uh, I would rather, though, make a figure, you know, to sell when I'm ready, when I make one just uh, randomly and I'm thinking, yeah, I, I want to sell this one, you know. Uh, I've got a Victor Crowley to sell if anyone's interested. Um, like I said, some more eddies are coming up. Uh, got a, I'm, you know, want to do my girlfriend a, uh, a figure. Tom Cruise, she likes Tom Cruise, she wants him from Top Gun. Um, so I'll be doing that one when I can. Uh... Yeah, I got some other projects in the works, you know. I don't want to say too much because I change my mind like the weather. You know, one minute I'm doing this one and then I'm doing something else. So, um, yeah, um, I'll probably leave it there for now then, guys. I just, you know, thought I'd do a little video. Probably not little, though. It's probably going on a bit. But um, but it's been a while since I've done a video like this, so I thought I would ramble on a bit. <laughs> if anyone's still watching, you know. So um, I'm just converting films, you know, watching stuff here. Uh I'm making this video for you awesome people, so uh, I'll leave it there, I think, for now, guys. I don't think there's anything else I need to mention. Uh, mention some of the projects and some of the commissions and stuff. Uh, like I said, I do want to do another collection tour because uh, I've got a different setup now, and obviously in a new place, there was more room, and, um, you know, there's a lot more of it packed together, whereas in the old place, there was a bit on this wall, there was, other, you know, a bit more horror stuff on the other wall. Now it's all together, so it looks a bit more organised. I got some like carded figures behind the one six scale stuff, and you know the boxes, the packaging, and stuff. It looks really nice. So I hope you guys like that video when I make it. I don't know when it's going to be, but I will make it for you guys. Um, I want to talk on it um, like I'm doing to you guys now, rather than just film it and put music over it, because I'm always getting hammered on YouTube for the music I put on my videos, which is a shame because. You know, I'm not making any money off them, you know, it's just, you know, for fun, you know, but there you go. Um, it's a shame as well because I made, like, another collection, well, not a collection video, but, like, a portfolio video of my work I've done over the years. Um, a bit like the other one I did, but it's better. It's long, it's like an hour and a half long, um, so it's like 700 odd megabytes, so it's, it's a big file, but it's not that, it's because it's got so many different songs on the video. I just it's not even worth me trying to upload it to YouTube because I just it's just going to get blocked or something you know because there's so many different types of music on there you know different songs so by different record companies so you just know you're going to get in the crap for that uh, so I don't know if there's a way to email it to you guys or something somehow I don't know I'm not very good with them kind of things but um, if anyone's interested and wants to see that portfolio vid or whatever you know, just let me know, and if you know a way of me emailing it to you somehow, you know, uh, let me know and I'll do it for you, it's no trouble. Uh, so I'll leave it there then guys, I hope everyone's doing well. I'm doing well, my girlfriend's doing well, and my little boy's doing well, so it's awesomeness. Um, and I'll be back soon with another update, hopefully. Uh, I'll show you some bits that my sister made for me as well, she makes, uh, she makes good figures and stuff. She's done me a Jack Frost. Um, snowman bust from the uh, 96 film the horror film the comedy horror film uh it looks awesome i love it so i uh, hope you guys love it when you see it as well because i'm chuffed with it <laughs> since she made it i wanted it so um just a few bits like that from my sister i'll show you as well so until next time guys can't talk hopefully i can talk next time i do a video but anyway take care on best wishes this is gaz masculus signing off